We're out here during a dry time of year. It hasn't rained. We, this, we were at this, this little brush tract, this little crumb of native habitat left in the Rio Grande Valley of South Texas. Last year, same time, it had rained. Everything was green, looking great. Today, it's quite the opposite story. And that's okay, because all these plants are constantly being selected for it. The process of natural selection, it means that half these plants can tolerate this drought. You know, probably 20% of these won't come back. They will have died from drought. It's just a constant filtering. But the ones that do survive are probably able to survive because they're more resilient. That phenotype of is able to make it through the, quote, filter of this long dry period and then go on to produce seeds that therefore are more drought tolerant and then go on to produce more seeds that are drought tolerant etc so it's a constant filtering if you want to think of it like that with every successive generation these plants are not dead they're dormant they've evolved in this habitat they're able to tolerate the dry periods they're going to come back with the littlest bit of rain we got leucophyllum frutescens uh, ceniso it's called we got mexican oregano lipia graviolens we got a bunch of croton species, croton and canis, cordia bossieri, and a Texas olive. This is why we plant native, because these plants have evolved with these conditions. You are not going to change rain patterns. You're not going to change Hadley cells, which cause the high pressure zones at this latitude on both sides of the equator that are the reason these areas can be so dry and go so long without rain. I get so tired of these stupid greening the desert ideas you can't green the desert you're not going to affect climate the drought is always going to come back you might be able to water pump groundwater deplete the aquifer the drought is always going to come back and that's why these plants are so important you got to work with what you got quit pretending you're somewhere else look at that croton and canis all those leaves are shriveled up wilting it's not dead it'll come back sprout new leaves turn bright vivid green again once you get a couple inches of rain, maybe even just an inch and a half, good rain, cool temperatures, you know, fog and mist for a few days, it'll come right back. The only way you can green the desert is by planting what's native. The most you can do, maybe dig a hole, dig a tree well, you know, help with water retention, prevent runoff. That's not so much an issue here because the ground's not very sloped. It's going to get soaked in anyway, but that's the most you can do without uh you know burning out the groundwater or extracting more resources etc you got to work with what you got quit pretending you're somewhere that you're not plant the natives plant the natives because they've evolved in that area and under those conditions and are still being naturally selected for okay they've evolved in those places over millions of years that's all i got go after yourself bye